Hi everybody, Michael Walker, Secondary Technology Integration Specialist, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can use Google Drive to store video and share them on websites like an ePortfolio or a blog or other. So for our purposes today, I'm going to assume that you've already created the video and you're trying to find a way to share it, put it on your uh, blog or website or something like that. So what I've done here is I've logged into Edina Apps and now I'm going to click on Drive. And when that comes up, I'm going to upload my video file. So when Drive comes up, I'm going to come over to the Upload button and click on that. And I'm going to select Files. And then I have to navigate where I saved my video. So I'm going to come here and I'm going to select this video right here and select open and I'm going to leave the conversion of it off and it's going to go through the process of uploading the video. Now videos are a little bit larger files and it will take some of your uh, memory to upload it but uh, once you've done that it will uh, be available for you to actually go in and embed. So we'll show that once it's uploaded. And we're getting close here. And so this is a way to see how Google Drive can actually be used not just to do Google Docs things and converting things into Google Docs to collaborate, but also as a storage location that you can access. So rather than carrying the jump drive around, you can uh, upload it to Google Drive and have it available there when you need it. So now it's uploaded, and I'm going to click on it and wait a moment while it comes up. When it first comes up it still needs to be processed so you won't necessarily see the video itself but you can embed the video. So I'm going to go up here to the file menu now and I'm going to select embed this video. And I'm going to grab the code and copy it and click OK. Under the sharing settings right now it's set to private only you can see it so we need to change that and this is where it kinda depends if you only want your teacher or people in Edina Apps to see it you may want to select that people in Edina Apps with a link or if it's something that's gonna be public that you want anybody to see you might say anyone with the link and that kinda depends on the audience that you've created this for and you want to just say can view here I'll say save and done. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to find a place that I can actually embed that video so I'm going to come to sites and it's going to load my sites and I'm going to select a portfolio page that I've set up as a place to embed that video. So I'm going to pretend that I'm in 8th grade uh, 21st century literacy maybe and I'm going to click here bring that page up and that's where I want to embed this uh, video so I'm going to click on the edit page and I'm going to click down here into my main section and this is where when you're using embed codes you have to switch your page to HTML right up here in the editing tools we have HTML source I don't necessarily need to know what all those characters mean in that HTML but I do need to be able to switch to that source to paste in this code I'll click on update and save and now my video will show up in the course and I can hit play and anybody who comes to my page now will be able to access that simply by embedding it in Google Drive uploading it to Google Drive and grabbing that embed code so this is a way to uh, share videos out uh, using Google Drive um, eventually maybe we may be able to have it set up so that every student has a YouTube channel but for right now uh, this is a way to still share your videos and the great work you're doing in class. Have a great day.